Waiting for it to get down, and then they're going to try for the field goal attempt here. So, what, is, what did he do? He just took a knee. He took a knee, and the clock that is rolling. He completely brain farted on that one. The clock is at zero, and Lacrosse is going to escape Platteville with a 24 23 victory. Colin Schutz. Like you should not be handing this football off. Right. I don't know what. Miami is doing. That's it. And here's Cheney. The straight ahead tackled and the ball popped out. He's got to read the clock. I mean, it would read the card. I mean, and to me, Georgia Tech has it with 26 seconds left. Three to the field for King. Up in the pocket, going to loop it down the field, and it is caught. And that's Rutherford. Here's King from the pocket, flush to his right with six. Five, gonna loop it downfield, and ball is caught! Touchdown, Georgia Tech! With one second to go in the ball game, Christian Leary! Here's Van Dyke looking, flips it to the middle of the field. This is Restrepo. He'll dance, the clock is expired, and Xavier Restrepo's gotta look for help. Now he's gonna throw it back across the field, and here is Kobe Young coming to the near side. Now Young going to give it back to Van Dyke. He's going to sling it back to Restrepo. Miami trying to string this play out. Schoolyard style. Now to Young, middle of the field. Kobe Young looking for some help. He's going to throw it back, and this is Jacoby George. Now he'll dance with it. George trying to make a move with it. Ball got knocked loose, and the game is over. The playground style at the end did not help Miami. Pizza party for a victory. Uh oh, here comes a fake. Tisto thought about throwing it, pulls it down. He's not going to get near the marker. Malik Simmons stopped him. You wonder what the punter was thinking. Second and 11 from the 13 yard line, under 10 seconds to go. Ewers back of the end zone, incomplete, trying to get it to Mitchell. They move the tight end, Sanders. Close to the line at the right end. He's had a huge night. He's a big target in the end zone. Ewers in trouble and just didn't get it off. Mish Powell came on a blitz. The clock is at all zeros. Is that the last play? The players don't think so. Neither team has come out onto the field. Mish Powell came on a blitz and forced the throw. One, at least put one second on the game. Oh, clock. my goodness. Block. We're barring a penalty. This is it. Texas trailing all night long. One last chance to advance to the national championship game. Ewers lobs it up, and it is incomplete. Intended for Mitchell. Elijah Jackson had the coverage. Washington hangs on and wins the All-State Sugar Bowl in the college football playoff semifinal. The foot of Jake Camarda. And it's a fake. Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. It was fourth and 11. Alabama's going to take over at the 48-yard line. First ever back-to-back 10-win -back seasons for Ruffin McNeil and this senior class and this football team. A tremendous showing here tonight. I mean, defensively, offensively turning it around. I mean, Justin Fuentes has done a heck of a job. See if they'll have to snap it on fourth down. We take a pretty long play to do it, and they'll try to get that with Carden running around, trying to buy time. He'll, of course, stay in bounds. And the clock will continue to wind, and we're going to be about 15 seconds left difference between the play clock and the game clock and fourth downs coming and 16 seconds will remain a fourth and 19 the yardage is negligible East Carolina you scramble around as long as you can throw the ball up in the air as high as you can into the end zone and try and take as much time off and the out clock. the back of the end zone too Hard. They're trying to get to him. Shane better be careful. Make sure he doesn't see so the ball. Do now, see, now see you've Holman lost 10 can, yards. Yeah. It'll be 65 yards from and, the and, end zone. And Justin Holman can reach that. I mean, I, I'm telling you. You've got to get outside or keep in the pocket. Oh, 
Holman firing to the outside, trying to get Reese. Wow. He caught it, got out of bounds. Five seconds to go, and now you got a legitimate shot no at the doubt. end zone. And that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. Take that little route, because it's a defense. You want to make sure you stay deep and don't give up home run. And you got out of bounds. So that's with no timeouts in your pocket. Now defensive ends, like you just talked about. they got to rush up the field. You can't let them scramble around outside the pocket. So they're pressing the receivers up here. Now Holman has time to unload it. He fires it high. He fires it deep. Rashad Perriman, 51 yards. Wow. We're down to 30 seconds by the time the Gophers take this snap. Leidner, pump fakes, wants it all, goes to the corner, got it! After review, the receiver caught the pass, but was down short of the goal line. It will be Minnesota's ball, first and goal, at the one-half yard line. 16, 15. Now they shift. Leiter's going to go into the gun with 10. 9, 8, got a hustle. Leidner rolls to throw. He's in trouble. Lobs it incomplete, and there's only two seconds oh. left in the game. Boy, I, I don't know if Leidner knew that they were winding the clock. Leidner under center. Full house behind him. He'll try to do it himself. Did he get there? No signal. No touchdown. Michigan has won it. Clemson, everybody at the line of scrimmage, and they're going to throw instead. And they get it to Cadron Boone. Ball back, even if they do that. Yeah, you get two shots at a first down, and Mettenberger wants to throw again. On the run, too high. Well, in that one, I think you got to run it. If you're going to throw it on you first. You about smarted yourself. Yeah, you got, I think if it, you got Landry wide open on the last one. And he wants to throw again. Has it batted down. Holy cow, Malachi Goodman, who has three and a half sacks in a brilliant game, gets a block. And as it turns out, Clemson does not have to use nope. a single timeout in that possession as LSU threw it three times in a row. That's all for the win. Situation. I think you'd rather have them try to make a mayday field goal where they're racing against the clock than, than go ahead and call a timeout and think you're icing them. I, I think that's a bad decision by Coach Bielema. Yeah. And with the wind at his back, Swenson splits the uprights. Michigan State leads for the first time today. Smith going to hand to Rouse. He didn't get in. Second effort. They got to do something. 12, they 11, go 10, down. 9, 8, 7, 6. BC's got to get up on the line. They, Five, they can't spike it, though. Four. They can't spike it. Time is out. They're going to have to run the play. Smith got it snapped. No. Can't spike it. Ball game over. Wake wins. The ball was on the ground when the clock expired. Therefore, the game is... Second down goal from the two-yard line. 
32 ticks left. He's going to tuck and run. Jefferson finds the scene. No! Inside the two. Inside the two. And LSU's got to hurry this thing up. No timeouts. And now you don't have your throwing quarterback on the field. They got two plays. Jefferson. All right, there's a mix Clock up. is running. It is running down. You got to spike it. You got to do something. Spike it. You got to spike it to get one more play. Down to four. Down to three. Oh! Jefferson wasn't ready for it. Ball game. It is over. It is over at Baton Rouge. I'm the workhorse. Put it on my shoulders and run like that is going to give him even more of the workload. Oh, and an onside kick. Northwestern is on it. It's usually how that works is if you get the look, you're going to dial it up. If not, then you go ahead and kick it away. A tremendous awareness. And when you're doing that to a running back, ugh, I don't know if I love that call. Right it was a total domination from start to finish. Miami had only six first downs in that game. They are going to go to a little trickery of their own. Shipley handed it off. Oh, now the ball comes out. What and the, the ball world? is recovered by South Carolina. Maffa took the handoff, and then it came flying out of his hands. And the Gamecocks have it. It's Trayvon Kenyon. Seconds that are ticking off and not calling a timeout. Diego Guajara. Now look at this. They're going to run a different play. Bradley, the holder, is going to take the snap. And he's tackled behind the line. It's Tanner McGee. I like this. Don't go away from it if you're Jeff Levy. And they don't. Gray's going to pop pass it, and it's intercepted. Barron's got it. They tried to change it up. Aaron Gray took a step to the line, went with the pop pass, and Jade Barron picks it off. Not anticipate a fake punt on fourth and 19, oh. but I would be wrong. And there is some room. Dyson punted it late, but from well across the line of scrimmage. Yes. If you're confused watching, so <laughs> are we. That's definitely illegal kicking. And I, it looks like he, he almost could have picked it up if he, he would have had a kept chance. Running. He had a chance. Illegal kick. Illegal kick. Kicking team, five-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down, Central Florida.